As you know, our digital distribution plans are also expanding to another important way with the arrival of DSRware. So, I'd like to ask Bill again to provide some details. Thank you again, Mr. Wada, for finding new opportunities for me to publicly embarrass myself in front of thousands of people. I relish these opportunities whenever they come, and I hope all of you enjoy watching me take spectacular advantage of it here this morning. Now, just like WiiWare, DSiWare offers digital distribution for unique ideas that often would get overlooked on retail stores, store shelves. But DSiWare also offers you developers an opportunity to deliver on the features that make DSi unique, like the touchscreen, the microphone, and the built-in camera. But it also gives you an opportunity to deliver on one of the key concepts behind Nintendo DSi, personalizing and sharing your portable entertainment. So I'd like to show you two DSiWare titles now that illustrate how that can be done. The first is a title that's been released in Japan that is called Ugo Memo, and it translates roughly into English as, uh, as Moving Memo, so that's what I'll call it for now. It is a simple tool that helps you bring your creativity to life and share it with the world. You start by just drawing a picture, or in my case, a very simple picture. I don't know if you can tell what this is, because I draw pretty much like a four-year-old. Uh, but it's a car. A very crude one. I know there are many artists in the audience who have much more talent than I do, and I'm not afraid to admit it. Okay, and that's probably even cruder than I'd hoped to draw. <laughs> now, what uh, Moving Memo allows me to do is it allows me to take uh, the frame that I've just created, and I can copy it and I can paste it into an additional frame. So I'm going to uh, copy a few frames here, and then I can very quickly back out. I'm gonna go back one frame. Actually, what I'm gonna do is draw, see there, I can see what's on the, uh, the frame before. I'm gonna draw some ground. Oops, go back, grab that, slide that over, okay. And draw my ground there. Go back a frame. Slide it over a little bit more and draw my ground there. Go back a frame. Oops. And repeat. Oops. There we go. Oops. No, see, there no idea. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. See, it's going a little bit slow there, so I will uh, speed it up. And if I want to, I can even use a built-in microphone and add some background sounds. <laughs> now, let's see if you can hear this. <laughs> Thank you. But you get the general idea. Now, once you've created your little flipbook animations, you can upload these to a central server where the whole world can see them. And from that central server, you're also going to be able to download the creations of others. Uh, and if you're so inspired, you may even be able to add your own creativity to their works. There are additional tools in Moving Memo as well that really help bring it to life. So what I'd like for you to do is take a look at a video where you can see what someone other than me, somebody with artistic talent, probably more like a lot of you, can do with a tool like this. So let's take a look at the video. Ha <laughs> 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 
Thank you very much. 